Move to this public hearing, Article 45. 45, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't finished even... Okay. I'm moving this Article 45 to this public hearing to be considered read as written. It is to raise an appropriate $520,000 for a six-foot sidewalk west of Mace Road, seconded by Regina Bonds. Any public comment, questions? And yes, we do. Step right up to the microphone, please. And introduce yourself. Yep. My name is Megan Riley, and I, I'm on uh, 14 Toby Street. And I am the one who submitted this uh, article. <coughs> So thanks for the opportunity to speak tonight. Um, I submitted this this article for the sidewalk on Mace Road, and I feel the construction of a sidewalk on Mace would be a great addition to Hampton's active community. We um, it won't won't only provide a safe option for children walking to and from school, but also to friends' houses, our runners, and those walking their dogs. We have a beautiful playground that Parks and Rec put together. Um, they built over on five corners. And many of the uh, residents don't feel safe walking down to that park. They would rather drive or drive somewhere else than to walk their children in a wagon, stroller, or even just walk down the street, myself included. Um, <clears throat> this sidewalk isn't just a standalone sidewalk. It would connect High Street and also Mill Road, so it would create a perimeter for children going to school over there. Um, and yes, I understand it's an investment, I recognize there's a lot on the ballot this year. Um, and of course, other folks will want sidewalks as well. I know you guys mentioned that the other night. Uh, Jen and her team, Jennifer and her team at DPW, are working extremely hard uh, to accomplish their projects that they already have and that they're working to ensure the safety of our residents. I submitted this as a supplement to that work. As we all know, drivers are extremely distracted. They drive way too fast. And at this point, we can't keep pushing off this until something tragic happens in order for us to do construction on Mace Road or for other sidewalks. Our children and residents deserve better than that. And I'm hopeful that the committee and the community will support this article. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a question. Where yes, did Jenny. you get the $520,000 figure? Yeah. I worked with um, Jennifer and her team, and they put together the estimate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who was the second for you? Uh, Regina Bonds. Okay. Okay, Danielle, you, what number is that, please? I have one question. Yes, sir. I would second that. Excuse me? They have already been repaired? They want to, they've been repaired, but they want to replace them, Sonny, with new ones, okay? Right, they want to replace them with brand new ones. So that's why we're done, we're done repairing those. Okay, that, I'm sorry, Danielle, Danielle. So you want to make a motion to reconsider Article 45. Yeah, 45, and I second it. Seconded by Ginny. Okay. I'm sorry. I did. Motion made by Danielle to reconsider, seconded by Ginny. Any discussion on the Mr. reconsider? Chairman, point of order. Yes, sir. I, I know that Jenny did not vote in the majority on this. I didn't vote. Because she wasn't there. I right. Wasn't Therefore, there. she doesn't qualify as having voted in the majority. That is true, which means that she cannot second it. So we need somebody else. And I don't know about Danielle's vote. Danielle, did you vote? Well, it was nine and one abstention. So did you vote? Oh, so it was Regina abstained, so Danielle voted, and I will second it because I voted against it, okay? So, we are, any, any discussion about the reconsideration? All those in favor of reconsidering, please raise your hand. We have Danielle, we have Jenny, we have Steve LeBranch, we have supporting your, your, your Regina vote and Chuck. Any, all those opposed to reconsidering this would be Brian, Steve Henderson, I'm in the yay as well. All right, we'll take the vote again. This is to vote to reconsider. I am in the yay also. 
This is for the this is for the construction of a uh, on Mace Road, a sidewalk. Okay, a, that was a petition warrant article. All right. So we have a, a motion by Danielle, seconded by Steve LeBranch, to reconsider. All those in favor of reconsidering, please raise your hand. Sorry. Jenny. Yes, I am reconsidering. Da uh, Tim Jones, who's not raising his hand. Danielle, Steve LeBranch, uh, Regina, Chuck. Organization to help me. That's one, two, three. Was that six? Yes. Okay, so those opposed. I know, it's getting late. I was in favor. For reconsideration of Article 45, which is a petition article for Mace Road sidewalk, it was a uh, motion by Danielle, seconded by seconded by Steve LeBranch. Those in favor was Ginny, um, from my memory, Tim, Danielle, Steve LeBranch, uh, Regina, Chuck Rage, and, and that was it, right? Okay, so now those opposed to this reconsideration would be Steve Henderson, uh, Brian Lapham, Sonny Kravitz. What is the motion, Mr. Michael, Chairman? this is to reconsider. Reconsider. How many times are you going to vote for that? We haven't four. finished four. with four. the nays. So, again, the nays. One, two, Brian, Steve four. Henderson, Sonny, um, Dave, and also Mike. Okay, so you have five nays, no abstentions. So we will reconsider this. Now, um, motion to... Are you going to make a motion now, Danielle, to recommend? Yes. Okay, Can that's I what I thought. And it's seconded Thank by you. Ginny. Okay, did you get that? Barbara. Motion to recommend Article 45 by Danielle Augustine, seconded by Ginny. And we any discussion on this particular um, on this particular recommendation? I want to I want to say that. We talked about this on Tuesday night, and and Mr. Welch was very kind to go through the figures, um, all of the amounts that would be necessary to do this job for five hundred and twenty thousand dollars. However, when I asked, "Where's the six feet coming from?" And it, we have a road that's approximately 25 feet wide. It's not coming out of the road, I was told, because if it is, then Mace Road will have to be turned into a one-way street. So that's what I was told. Now, that, so then I asked, all right, where will the land come from? And if it's going to come from um, taking eminent domain, then it's this, this figure of $520,000 doesn't, address the cost of taking land by eminent domain. So um, that's, that's my comment, this board. Anybody have anything to say about this particular discussion about the... Um, so you're saying the 520 is not correct? The 520 is the amount that... We're, you were at our meeting on Tuesday night, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mr. Welch read... Uh, so many feet of, uh, of granite curbing, $100,000, so many feet of mm -hmm. hot top, X amount of money, on and on and on. And this is, we're not, we're no longer in a public hearing, okay? So, well, but he went through, but the, it didn't, he didn't list legal fees. He didn't list acquiring land, okay, by eminent domain. And what was talked about is that it, ADA compliant, it has to be six feet wide, and you have, you don't have an especially wide road there, okay? And so basically my question on Tuesday night was, where's the land coming from? And it was basically eminent domain. And if that's the case, I know that if somebody said, can I take six feet of your front of your, um, of your land, I would probably say, well, you're going to have to pay me for it. Um, and even then, I don't know if I'd want, I wouldn't be very happy, but, um, okay, Chuck. Can we ask Fred about the land? Is, is that something we can ask? The public hearing is closed. But he's not a public person. He's not, he's, he's a, not a he's public person. Town employee. He's a town he's employee. Right he's right away, question. which is outside. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Okay. We have we have a committee member asking if if we can. Are you making a motion 
to. We have. Let me see. We have a motion. We have a motion on the floor right now, correct? Okay. And that's to reconsider this. To re, re recommend it. Now, right. well, is be informed the, of, some, of of what is the will of this a statement that you right. might not know? Oh, I know. I was there. Okay, I was there and asked the questions. I, <laughs> what I just stated. Read, if you watch the video, you'll see it's exactly the way I just said it. Okay. Now. I realize that it's just exactly the way that you probably said it, Steve. It, And it is, and you weren't there, Jenny. I know, but okay. can we ask to reaffirm your statement because we don't have the videotape here. And I, for us that weren't there, can we also have Fred Welch, who is our town manager, to confirm that as well? Okay. Just to relieve any doubt in okay. anyone's mind. Okay. I am very pleased to ask Mr. Welch if he'd like to come up and address this. If the rest of, if that's yeah. the will of this board, is that the will of this board? Do we have a little bit of a consensus, yes. consensus here? I have no objection if the purpose of him speaking is simply to confirm or disaffirm your statement. Thank you. Would you like to come up and speak to this, uh, Mr. Welch, please? Because perhaps uh, information has changed. I only can go by what I was told. I don't know about the width of roads and how wide they have to be and anything else. I'm only going, and I'm doing this, I'm doing this, Megan, for you, because this, these are, this is the very thing that came up the other night, okay? So, Mr. Welch, please. In answer to your question, Mr. Chairman, there is no provision in this warrant article to take anything by eminent domain. Therefore, if it's not there, it can't be done, and the entire sidewalk will be constructed within the existing 50-foot right-of-way of the road. Thank you very much, Mr. Town Manager. Okay, so now we have Sonny that would like to make a comment. I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to it, but I mean, I think there's a process. Go to the deep, go, go to the deep they'll put you on the list. If we start making exceptions for each per, each area that wants sidewalks, we're going to start getting warrant articles for a sidewalk on this street, a sidewalk over there, fix this sidewalk. There's a process for the town. Work with the DPW. We're not opposed to. Okay, thank you, Sonny. Anything else, Sonny? No. no. Um, Steve Henderson, please. You know, I agree with, uh, you know, it would be a great asset to have a sidewalk there as, long as well as several other areas in town that are uh, dangerous and we could use sidewalks. The issue comes back is, one, it should, I believe, it should have gone through uh, public works and should be presented by them. Two, we have to make a decision, like Fred told us the other night, uh, town manager, that we have to go from the roadway in six feet. That's what he said the other night to us. Well, if we're going to take six feet in, I took a ride over there and I checked out Mace Road. We're talking trees, we're talking walls, we're talking a lot of people's property. I mean, we're coming right up close to our property. There's several of them. We're going to be almost to their porches. So, therefore, I think we just need more information. We need more things done. I mean, you can't, we can't make Mace Road a one-way one road. That's not going to happen. So, therefore, if we go by what the uh, ADA compliances are, and we have to go by the six feet, and Fred said the other day we'd start from the town property in, I just don't see where at this point, at this stage of the game, uh, we're ready to go forward with this. Do I believe it's a great a great cause? Absolutely. Do I believe that it's good for the children, good for the people going down to the park and the schools? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we're not at the point uh, where we can uh, push this forward at this point. That's Thank you very much, Mr. Stage. Henderson. Anybody else have any comments or questions regarding? I, I just have one more comment. Yes, Chuck. I mean, we spent all this money on a new playground, and if people don't use it, it's, it seems to be a complete waste. So I, 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 I think more people would use it if it was uh, accessible. I wouldn't let my kids walk down there. Any other, any other, Mr. all right, all right, quiet, please. Mr. Quiet from the uh, Mr. audience, Chairman. please. Go ahead, uh, Tim. I would, I would observe through uh, Chuck, our occasional VD representative, that uh, if in fact there's no safe way for people to get to the park, then the placement of that park, which was just recently done, was ill-considered with regard to the public benefit and health. Any, are you finished, Mr. Jones? I might not be. It's not just about the park on the road. It's about the fact that it's unsafe to walk on there right now. That's hold on, all. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 
make sure that we are recognized. Danielle, yeah. you had something to say? <laughs> I did. Okay. So it's, it's about safety and the fact that right now it can be very dangerous just to walk on that road with how badly people speed and the motorcycles constantly. That's the issue, and maybe we don't have a perfect solution right now, but I just definitely wanted to reconsider. Thank you very much. And any, uh, David, you wish to say something? I completely agree in the fact that we need a lot more sidewalks in Hampton, but in the past year, a number of sidewalks have been proposed. I do think we need to have a master plan on sidewalks, where they belong, where the, the most important ones are, and the areas that require the safest and come to that sort of an agreement. But we seem to be doing it hodgepodgey. And any time somebody, I, I love, matter of fact, I came from Watertown, Massachusetts. There was a sidewalk on each side of the road through the entire town of 40,000 people. So when you come out here, it's kind of, whoops, where's the sidewalks? Mm. Um, but the bottom line is I believe in the sidewalks. I believe in what... Uh, what Danielle just said, at the same time, it's also a police matter. If this motorcycle speeding up and down that road is in this car speeding up down that road, the police department should be monitoring more roads. That would be one of my suggestions. The other one would be, which they did put on next to the road very recently, which I like. They put a speed light up. And you know what? It really does slow down the traffic. Because when I say, oh, I was doing 31, I should be doing 30. Or I'm doing 59, and I should be doing 30, whatever. But I find they do help. That that might be a suggestion for the road for safety. Uh, but if you did make it one way, I was saying at the end, then if it's just one way, then those motorcycles are going to use for a personal strip. So that's not going to solve the problem. So if if we could come up with a plan working to get the proper sidewalks in the most needed areas and make it a 10-year plan so we eventually have sidewalks everywhere, that I think that's the way to go. Thank you very much, Thank David. You. Anybody else have any? Uh, Brian, please. Um, I agree with everything, most of everything Dave had to say. Um, we spent months, many months, um, going over the beach where they do have the sidewalks. They are ADA compliant. But to do all the sidewalks in town would be unbelievable. So I cannot authorize this. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Anybody else on this committee have any additional comments to make? Seeing none. Those in favor of recommending this warrant article, please raise your hands. We have Chuck Rage, we have Regina, we have Danielle. Those opposed to recommending it. We have Ginny, we have uh, Tim, David, Mike, uh, Sonny, Steve Henderson, Brian Lapham, and Stephen LaBranche. And so that means that there are no uh, abstentions. Okay. Correct? Okay. So you have those numbers. Barbara, could you repeat them, please? So we have how many? Four? We have three in favor. Three. And then eight opposed. Eight opposed, zero abstentions. 